Hi everybody, this is Patty Bell with Etowah Valley Music Project and I am here today with PhD, that is Pepper, Hammonds, and Dobson. And they are here recording their new Christmas CD and uh, guys, thank you for having me. I really appreciate the uh, time and your effort for bringing me out here. So uh, tell me a little about PhD because this project's been going on for a while between you guys. Who wants to step up on that? Donnie? Jack? <laughs> PhD started, we, we had this little country thing that uh, Donnie and I were playing with at the open mic mm -hmm. one night and uh, he picked up a bass, I was running some guitar licks and kind of went, there might be something there. So I got in touch with Donnie and showed it to Karen and seemed like she had the right voice for it. So we put together this little song called Put Your Pants On, mm -hmm. a kind of a bluegrass country thing. Mm -hmm. And on the tail end of that, we figured as PhD, as a group, we needed to have more material out there mm -hmm. besides the one song. So then we said, well, it's Christmas time, so we'll do a Christmas CD. We don't have to write a whole bunch of new stuff. Mm -hmm. We can record the Christmas CD stuff. Okay. And so, and PhD is kind of a conglomerate. We all have our separate music careers, and we came together for these projects. It's, okay. you know, Donnie goes out and plays, Karen goes out and plays, I go out and play. And But for this, we kind of got together as a, as a three people from three different groups and right. kind of uh, did this... Uh, uh, collaboration here. Great, great. Karen, tell me a little bit about your mess. Um, I kind of know these guys a little bit from, from a few couple years now, I think, but uh, you've been playing since when? Well, I've been playing the piano since I was six, mm -hmm. classical pianist. Right. Um, and I've been singing since I was six, but mm -hmm. um, as far as the music scene, I'm kind of, for the past couple of years, mm -hmm. I'm really putting myself out there because I've been in the medical field. So, um, just got to know Jack about a year ago, met Jack, mm -hmm. um, and we started working together, and then uh, met Donnie, and got to play at, um, I think on my bucket list was getting to sing with Donnie, and I expressed that to Jack, and he kind of just brought it all together. So the Musicians Make a Wish Foundation. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> this is actually a, a dream come true for me. Wonderful. Donnie. Don't be so shy. <laughs> <laughs> Donnie has performed around here for a number of years. Anybody who has been in this area has seen him perform will understand that uh, he has uh, he is an outstanding musician himself, performer. But uh, you also have this recording studio side to you that I don't hear a lot about. So tell me a little bit about After Dark Studio. How long has it been here and, and what's going on here? Um, the studio, I've actually been, you know, doing the studio project, been doing the producing thing for about 15 years. Mm -hmm. Started out in my bedroom, mm -hmm. uh, worked to get in facilities, and now I'm here uh, in Cartersville out by the airport on 61. Mm -hmm. And I work with a lot of local bands, just trying to get them out there. I do budget stuff for, for the Cartersville budget. So, like I said, we're here for, for anybody. And um, at any level, if you want to start out doing demos, if you want to do EPs to, to full-blown projects, we're, we're here to do it all, uh, music videos. Everything, the duplication, everything you could you could want in one facility. Good, 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 good. That's I think that is important for Cartersville to know that you are here and available for local musicians to have a place to go. And uh, I know he's very easy to work with and very not very yeah and uh, doesn't try to rip you off. That's not how he does business. So that's good to know, and I think local musicians need to know that around here. So guys, uh, I think you said this was coming out around Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We hope so. Yeah, we hope to have it released by uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Okay, and is it going to be available on any type of downloads or anything like that? We'll or? have it on all the typical digital downloads, okay. iTunes, Amazon, all that kind of stuff on there, and we're okay. going to have a physical CD also. Okay, great. Well, um, as I said, I just wanted a few minutes to, to hear a little more about it, and that way when the viewers uh, hear some of the great stuff that you, you know, got a few little sneak peek clips for you guys, a little behind the scenes, and uh, I thank you for your time, Jack, Karen, Donnie. Thank Thanks, you. Patty. Thank you, right. Patty. Hey, Donnie, I don't know if I'm digging on this groove, man. It's a little, a little too wishy-washy for me. Yeah, even though it's a traditional blue Christmas, it doesn't have to be so blue. Yeah, why don't we be more true to the PhD scent? And then it goes. Everybody follow me. And everybody kind of, okay, we'll do it this way. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. I'll be so blue. 
just thinking about you. Decorations of red on a green Christmas tree won't be the same, dear, if you're not here with me. Feliz Navidad Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. 